Welcome back to your Monday morning on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Now, as the world continues to mourn the loss of Cecil the Lion, who was shot and killed by a hunter in the, in the, uh, in the United States this past week in, Z in Zimbabwe, over 500,000 people have signed a petition that calls for lions to be classified as an endangered species and asks for a ban on, Im on import of any uh, hunting trophies that threaten the survival of these majestic animals. So people, of course, around the world are impassioned by this. Well, definitely. And also, this debate is continuing. I mean, people are raging all around the world about this and the ethical nature of lion hunting. We want to discuss it this morning. On the line, we have uh, Linda Tucker, CEO of the Global White Lion Protection Trust. Uh, Linda, good morning and welcome to the show. You're live on Expresso. Good morning. Very good to be here this morning. Now, Linda, when we start off and we, we start talking statistics, the fact that there are, there are fewer than 4,000 lions in the wild in South Africa and uh, fewer than 20,000 on the entire continent, I mean, this is a very shocking statistic. Uh, and with that in mind, do you then believe that uh, lion hunting should be banned outright? That is the position that the Global White Lion Protection Trust has taken for two decades now. Absolutely. Uh, but we would go further and we'd start looking at the statistics much more serious statistics of the last estimated 8,000 lions in cages in South Africa. The fact that there are many more lions in cages in South Africa is nothing to be proud of, I'd say. And, um, um, and you know, they were inbred, they're genetically impaired, they habituated, so there's no chance of them returning to the wild. They are not going to solve our global crisis around wild lions at all. Linda, there are those who argue that hunting lions contributes to the economy. Uh, there are those that says a ban might increase uh, poaching and also forcing hunters to go underground. What is your response to that argument? My response to that argument is that, you know, this is a commercial argument at the expense of long-term economics. Uh, you know, we need to look at the preservation of the species rather than exploitation. So the argument I've always said, the argument that killing lions can save them is not logical and it's not ethical. We need to look long term and recognize that it, it, it's also not sustainable. And these are the issues that we will you know, help discuss with um, the trophy hunting industry in South Africa. And so with that in mind, do you then support the extradition of the American hunter who shot Cecil out of the United States to go and face charges in Zimbabwe? Well, of course we do. You know, he broke a law that was in place to help save the species. But, I, you know, we need to look further. We're greatly encouraged that the global public is outraged. It means that lions are a hot issue. The key thing now is for the public to direct their emotion into positive action. And the first step that people can take is to boycott unethical uh, um, airlines. And those are airlines that carry uh, animal parts, or particularly lion parts, to other parts of the world after having been trophy hunted. Unfortunately, our airline, our airline SAA, is one of those at the present time. Well, it's, yeah, certainly something not to be very proud of. But thank you very much for sharing your opinions with us. That's Linda Tucker, the CEO of the Global White Lion Protection Trust. In fact, we'd like to know from you at home. Let us know on our Facebook page uh, or on Twitter by using uh, hashtag Expresso Show. Do you think that lion hunting should be completely banned? So definitely an issue to talk about this morning. Yeah, well, also start following us on Facebook. That's Expresso Show, S-A-B-C-3. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's time for the news.